Hello, good day everyone. Here comes our video again. Uh, thanks for watching for my video last upload. Uh, for today, guys, I'm going to make a video for you. Uh, we're back on our uh, high pega and shooting plus V3 uh, issue. So today, I'm going to show you how to do it properly. Because some of you guys are asking about errors from your setup then uh, I answered you through, through your uh, through your comments and I hope you get the answer and uh, nothing else uh, nobody had responded yet it is uh, uh, running to their mobile phone the setup is working perfectly so today guys I'm going to show you all your questions will be answered okay let's start first uh, if you're new for your uh, uh, an, uh, for your Android phones like MediaTek, uh, Snapdragon but I can recommend you to buy a mobile phone uh, Snapdragon because according to the manufacturer of the iPega Snapdragon only uh, support the IPEGA uh, devices like uh, IPEGA 9, 9028 and 9116 so uh, let's go That's for the first step before you execute your IPEGA connecting to your um, shooting plus V3 so you have to open first your uh, USB debugging to enable the USB debugging, go to your setting, then go to your find uh, additional settings on your phone. If you have a Xiaomi phone, an Android, and a Poco, I think it's similar for this. So then, after, if you don't have a developer option yet, for me, I already activated this one. So go to your settings, then. Uh, go to your uh, again if you are not yet able to uh, enable your USB debugging so go to your uh, about phone click about phone and go to, to your MIUI version so click it seven times for me I cannot click anymore because immediately the from no need you 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 are already a developer so i already activated my developer option okay so after you de activated your developer option uh, by executing seven times it will go direct to your uh, additional settings open it again and below the the menu of your additional settings you can see the developer option uh, Icons. So click the developer option. For me, I already clicked uh, uh, enable the developer option ready and to find the uh, USB debugging. I already open also the USB debugging for me. So no need for me to open. Uh, this is for you to follow. Then for Xiaomi phones, guys, you have to click only two buttons. USB debugging and USB security setting okay but for me I added also uh, another button to be sure uh, my phone will be connected properly to the devices so I also click enable the install via USB so that is guys these three buttons I already enabled it's up to you if you want to buttons only excluding this uh, installed by a USB it's okay it will run okay so after we finish that developer option let's go out from there go out and go back to your screen now I'm going to activate the IPEGA which is my side Okay. Light already. See my 
Pega is already there in the uh, right corner bar and my keyboard and mouse are already uh, light on so that's it then after that guys if you are new uh, go to the settings and go to your Bluetooth connection so for me for example if my iPega is not yet connected to to my to Bluetooth to the Bluetooth on my phone you have to execute a connection your Bluetooth to a 911 uh, uh, iPega 9116 but before you execute the Bluetooth connection you have to for Android you have to press the key uh, on your keyboard press control plus 2 that's for Android before you connect the uh, Bluetooth on your uh, iPega to your phone okay guys control plus 2 because if you try to connect the iPega 9116 to your mobile phone it will search continuously then after you press the control button control plus 2 it will redirect to your connection uh, from your uh, phone okay if you follow that guys okay now after that it's already connected let's go out uh, we are done there now let's go to our application the shooting plus b3 we'll open the shooting plus b3 the bluetooth is on 9116 there now you have to wait okay again click it again until it will be connected now our uh, shooting plus b3 is connected in a direct mode of the PG, uh, ipega pg9116 to be sure guys this is what i'm telling you that you have to go first to the testing interface so that all the buttons will work properly uh, when you go to your end game so this is the interface of the uh, keyboard of the device then press any key you will see it's a red there will be a red uh, light coming to the letters it means the function is correct or it's okay so it's good to go then you have to check your mouse also the mouse I will click the left left click it's working and also the right click is working and the middle mouse see it's working so we are good to go so let's go out from there we're done then time for us to go to our game so I'm going to open PUBG for you I hope it's not uh, very high uh, MS today for the PUBG so wait for PUBG to open so the game is opening after we are, we are now on the screen of the game of the lobby uh, uh, let's go to the settings we go to the settings Of course, we're going to go to the customize button for our key mapping. Now, um, for your key mapping, because there are some viewers who are asking me how to key map the vehicle. So, from this menu, from the PUBG Mobile, uh, there are three. Uh, customize buttons you can select so you have to go to the vehicle click vehicle and 
to find a correct customization of your vehicle for your K mapping, click this middle uh, option. So click this one. Then to, to check where are your K mapping. For me, I will uh, just press my F2 or F1 or G1 or G2 in your keyboard. It will come out instantly your K mapping. These are for the normal K mapping on the character. But the important is where is your AWSD or the joystick is pointing or locating, located. Okay, so it's up to you guys if you can adjust that one. Uh, you can move instantly this one, or uh, if you want to move, so just uh, click uh, F2, then you can move this joystick. Okay, this is the key mapping of your vehicle. See? Even if I press 1, F1, or C, it will come out. Alright guys, you follow? So, then I press F1, it will disappear. So, everything is there. This is a vehicle. This is the vehicle uh, came mapping. So, let's go out from there. And we go back to our character, came mapping. Then we go to the customization. This is our the which I customize my K buttons. Okay, it's up to you to screenshot this one and follow my K buttons. Then I will press my F1 or the G1. It depends on your keyboard uh, written F1 or F2, F3, F4, F5. For me, it's G1, G2, G3, G4, and G5. So if I press G1, there you go. It will appear all my K mapping buttons. So, it's already there, guys. So it is already set up. But if you're new, you can click new button. Then you have to start typing in and drag it where the location you want to put so okay guys so i'm going to save that one Be careful if you press f1 you have to save it again so just click ok and it is saved so after that you're done on this k mapping button so save also the preset on your uh, game uh, in game uh, k map Cap mapping then you have to exit the before I will exit guys you see this one this is what I told you this is the corner the slotted corner what we call alright to uh, if this remain on your in game if you did not notice that it came out here in the corner your game will not work properly that's why there are some issues that when you press AWSD or something uh, any K, uh, K you will press it will not work properly so that's it guys so if you are going to remove this one just be sure that this corner will not appear this is from your uh, buttons from your cell phone so you have to click this out first it will come out and then click again so it disappear all right so you don't have to go out from the game just click that square icon then it's clear now then you have to save the preset and exit from the game mapping okay so it's done I hope this video you will help you more and I hope you follow my video clearly and I will try my best to give you more uh, tips and tutorials 
uh, if there is some viewers to request me why not I will make a video for that so please if you are new to my channel please subscribe like and share and so that you'll be notified for my next video and help me out to continue posting some videos about about how to uh, unlock some secrets of our gaming devices cameras and everything so support my channel guys if you support the channel you supported yourself also and we are all happy thank you and God bless and wish you and see you on my next. Thank you. Bye bye.